Hello there, masters and princesses. I am Brent Jensen, and welcome to this video. I am a songwriter, musician, and producer. I decided to make this video to share my initial thoughts about the new song by Bandmaid and Mike Einziger from Incubus titled Bestie. I have listened to the song a few times, so these are really just my initial impressions that could evolve over time. I will not play the whole song here, but I will include links to it in the description. One link is the official band made release. The other is a lyrics video put together by Orange that you should also check out. Now before getting into the song, I want to talk about the collaboration. Why would Bandmaid collaborate on a song with Mike Einziger, and for that matter, perhaps The Warning? From my perspective, no one is better at the unique Bandmaid sound than Bandmaid. So what do they have to gain or learn by collaborating with artists that I find not to be as compelling? Of course, it can be fun and exciting to work with another popular artist who admires you. But I also think it is for the penetration into the English Western market. By associating with these English-speaking artists from the West and writing slash performing songs that sound more like these artists, they gain access to that fan base. We know Miku has a goal of world domination, so how does she achieve it? Bandmate has just celebrated their 10-year anniversary. What do they need to do in the next 10 years that will actively expand their fan base in the West and allow them to grow? They not only need to create songs for their existing fans, but they need to come up with songs that will attract new fans, and these songs will need to be a little different than what they have been doing. Collaborations with bands popular in the West can certainly help with that. They can help bandmates spread out into new directions and acquire a broader audience. And besides, these collaborations could be fun and rewarding for bandmates and provide directions for creative growth. Who knows? There's always something to learn. Now on to Bestie. I have heard of Incubus, but was not familiar with their music. I finally listened to several Incubus songs yesterday and was pleasantly surprised. I was expecting straight ahead metal or the like, but their music is much more nuanced with lots of acoustic and electronic elements and is actually alternative rock. Their songs are powerful and expressive and I like the variety of textures in their music. In general though, I find their melodies to be a bit meandering and although the choruses are powerful, I have not heard them culminate in a satisfying payoff. There is not a section of the melody that is as catchy as I would like. I do not hear the hook. To me, the song Bestie sounds like it was written by Incubus, or Mike Einziger to be more exact, and then arranged by Bandmaid so that it sounds like a Bandmaid song. In this case, I think the arrangement is better than the song itself. I do enjoy what the members are performing in the song, but the song is somewhat mediocre compared to what I'm used to from Bandmaid. The melody and chord progressions are pleasant, but kind of standard, and they do not really grab my ear. The overall energy of the song is a bit monotonous, and the structure lacks the complexity I'm used to from Konami. As for a hook, even after a few listenings, I cannot seem to remember the melody and end up humming a different Bandmaid song that is much more catchy. As for the lyrics, they do seem to be intended for a Western audience. They are all in English, which they need to be to attract the Western audience, but they are not my favorite. Perhaps this is why. First, Miku is still not that proficient in English, and these lyrics sound like that to me. Although they convey a sweet and touching message about friendship, they are simple, straightforward, and a little bit trite. Now some of this may be intentional to be sure they are easily comprehended by Westerners. Miku may not be sure how much haiku-like imagery and metaphor she can get away with in a language she doesn't know that well and still relate to the audience. The title, Bestie, is English slang probably from the U.S. that is familiar and perhaps endearing to Westerners, but it is a bit dated and sounds immature to me, like the title to a children's song. It reminds me of the Valley Girl speak I heard in the movie Clueless from the 1990s, a term used by young teen or pre-teen girls decades ago. So I guess it is cute, but I don't know. Secondly, Psyche has a very strong Japanese accent, and her English pronunciation does need some work. So although the lyrics are in English, they're difficult for me to understand and sound foreign, though I know they are English, which is a little strange to my ear. Singers from other non-English speaking countries often do a better job at sounding English. This may be a reason, in general, that it is hard for Japanese bands to break into the English-speaking Western market. 
it is challenging for Japanese singers to actually sound Western due to the phonetic differences between English and Japanese. For many people, the tonal quality that sounds appropriate for Japanese does not sound as pleasing when singing in English. On the other hand, when some English is included in a song along with Japanese lyrics, as is the case with most band-made songs, it is more authentic and acceptable. I do not expect the English to sound like English. There's something intriguing about that exotic band-made sound of psyche that I like. Some of these thoughts may seem a little nitpicky, but in the end, as a dedicated bandmate fan, is best on the short list as a favorite of mine? Not at this point, and it doesn't need to be. It is certainly adequate, pleasant, and sounds like bandmade with the usual musical embellishments I would expect, and it has a positive and sweet message, which I love. But it is a bit forgettable. Is it a great collaboration and a step towards world domination? It may be. I can certainly hear Incubus in the songwriting, so it may appeal to Incubus fans. The easy-to-listen-to style of the song may appeal to even a broader Western audience, though I think the sound of the lyrics may be strange for those not used to singers out of Japan. I applaud Bandmate for taking this step to try something new, and it will be very interesting to see how these collaborations play out. <laughs> 